after the ultimate goal Ready for battle, brave and bold I know we're gonna make it We will find a way Oh, oh, we've come so far We fought so hard to get where we So far, so good, Nova. Yeah, I'd say one last attack and we try to catch Star the Echo and our Leah. Good idea. Spread your team out. Here's Lee Fish. Ray Coco. Here's Edward. Talking about a sudden evolution, Congrats, Slayin' and Nova! Your Springy Tino and Flake Coco evolved into Floriano and Crocolor! Floriano and Crocolor? Not bad! So now you guys have caught a Gargan Echo and an Art Oliva! What's next? Well, Artisan is not too far from here now, so I suppose we can just continue on there and meet Brassius. Not a bad shout, Arvin! If we are that close to Artisan, we may as well continue our way there! Yeah, let's go. Let's also keep our eyes out for that Team Star Ace Cassiopeia spoke about. Yeah, who knows? We may be close to there as well. You're right! Let's keep moving and keep our eyes open! Now this is interesting. This boy and his friends are heading to Artisan to meet the gym leader Brassius and take on those fools known as Team Star. Well, perhaps I should send in the Titan Iron Treads to stop them. Not only will it get rid of them and bring me back Murite, but it will also stop them from getting their hands on a Herba Mystica. It's one of the few plants that can restore Murite on powers. And I won't be needing a Sully plant as I have a machine to restore his powers. Now then, time to send in the Titan Iron Treads and take out those kids. I think Artisan is not too far now, so we should be there in no time. Great! Let's hope we get there soon! I think we should also mention about Brassius. He may look tired and depressed, but he's actually an okay guy. Really? How come? He spends most of his time making arts of Pokemon as well as gym leading, so you can imagine what that must feel like. But like Arvin said, he's a pretty nice guy. Huh, guess I can sort of relate to him. Making art along with training Pokemon and Rapper Brother sure can take a lot out of you. Heck, I don't even know how you can handle it, Ryan. Well. I'm no artist like Nova Brassius Mari, I'm just a champion who does business. We must be there artisan by now, right? Yeah, we're almost there now. Good, because I'm getting a little tired. Don't worry, Penny! The sooner we get there, the sooner we can sit down and have a break. We're almost there, everyone! Not too long to go now! Sweet! Definitely can't wait to get there now! Is there anywhere that's good enough to take a break? There's definitely a good cafe nearby, in 
town so we can stop there once we arrive. Sounds good. Let's get going. Wait, guys! Look over there! You don't think that could be one of Team Star Stasis for you? Only one way to find out. Let's go check it out. This most definitely looks like a place to install. What the hell? Yeah, I reckon one of the bosses can't see a key spoke about it in there. So which one of us is going to go in there? I challenge you. I don't do it. I don't want to show Team Star! What happens with the holy people? You sure? Well, good luck, Tim. If you ever need help, we'll be out here, so just give us a shout if you need help. Be careful, be careful, Tim. You know what Team Star are like. I'll be fine, but if worse comes to worse, then if I need backup, I'll fall for you guys. Okay, here we go. Superior! Looks like that soul of a grunt stuck with. <laughs> now, where is the leader? Right here. And you think you have a nerve to just come into my face? So you must be one of the bosses of Team Star! I'm Noah, leader of the Fire Crew Base and Team Star. And my name is Tim, and I'm here to bring you down! Ha! <laughs> You think a random trainer who shows up out of nowhere thinks they're skilled up to take me on? Alright then, we may as well settle this with a full team of battle. Bring it on, Noah!
Berg? Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. Way to go, Claxley! We won! <laughs> Into a Claxwell. Congratulations. I learned through everything I had. And now I've stuttered out. Guess this is where it ends. That my low tick and Claxwell of yours really let us have it. Meeting me in battle is a huge deal. So, you got what you came for. Now leave me alone, Tim. It's never too late to make a change, Bella. We all do these things because we get so angry. Trust me, I've been there before. Think about it and maybe head back to the Youth Academy and show everyone you can change for the best. Good night for now, Bella. So you still, with no one said she still has a chance to redeem herself? Yeah, she did seem very hesitant, but what can only hope she will redeem herself? Fingers crossed. So where do we go from here? Maybe we should find somewhere to take a quick break. We have been walking for hours after all. Good idea. I reckon we could all use a break right about now. Then yeah, let's go find somewhere to sit and relax. You know, Tim, when you battled Bella, I'm surprised you didn't use your terraform. I plan to use it against stronger opponents. When the time comes, I'll use it. Smart choice. We should all be wary of when we use our terraforms in battle. I agree with you on that one, Tony. How much longer until we find somewhere to chill? I'm getting a bit tired. Don't worry, Nova. We'll find somewhere eventually. Hey guys, look over there. There's a cave over there. Yeah. Why don't we go and chill over there? Good idea, Arvin. Let's go, guys. Okay, guys, let's head it in. Whoa! What kind of Pokemon is that? It looks more like a robot than a Pokemon. The moment you know what this is. No, I've never seen anything like this before. It looks a bit identical to a damn thing. It kind of does, Holly. But this one looks pretty hostile and might be in for a if it's a metal at once, then it'll get one! Ryan gives me a hand here, little buddy!
All right. We did it, little buddy. You were so mad yourself, Arden. But just, what was that Pokemon? I wish I knew, Tim, but I do agree with what Molly said that it looked like a dumb fan. But a robot Pokemon. Apart from Ryan's gender set, isn't there other robotic Pokemon out there? Never mind that. Let's head inside the cave. Yes, there it is. The Herba Mystica. Okay, hold on, Arvin. What's with all the excitement? Yeah, why are you so giddy about that Herba Mystica? Is there something you're either not telling us or something you forgot to tell us? Sigh. Guess I should tell you guys. Okay, bud. Come on out. <laughs> This is my partner, Mabastuf. He has been badly injured and these Herba Mysticas are what I need to help him get better. You see... We were at some place together when all of a sudden some vicious Pokemon came and attacked him and left him badly injured. He was lucky enough to barely survive but his injuries are much worse. So you see, I need to find all these Herba Mysticas that are around Paldea to make my buddy feel better again. Arden, I'm so sorry to hear that, but why didn't you tell us this sooner? I was worried no one would be willing to help me out, so I kept it a secret from others and tried to solve this myself. It was my fault the Bostoff got hurt so I'm gonna be the one to make him feel better. Not without us Arden, even if you told us what was going on we would have gladly helped you. No one has to go through this type of thing alone and you shouldn't blame yourself for what happened to the Boston. This sort of thing happens a lot. So we're all gonna help you out and find a piece of the Mysticus while traveling around Paldea, meeting gym leaders and taking down Team Star. Yeah, we're all in this together. Jeez. Thanks a lot, guys. This really means a lot to me. No problem, Arvin! Now how do we use the Herbal Mystica to help the Bostiff? Oh, it's simple, Tim. I just have to mix it up with a sandwich and feed it to him. In fact, why don't we all have a sandwich break? Good idea, Arvin! Did you get out of your master wall? Haha, <laughs> maybe it smelled the sandwiches. Huh, looks like Muridon likes the smell of your sandwich, Ryan. You think so? For Arceus sake, why can't you just stay in your wall, you brute? Alright, here you go, buddy. <laughs> Ryan, that sandwich was made for you. Why did you give it? Uh, was it just me or did Murray on just glide? Yep, honey, he did just glide. First time I've seen that happen. Hey, Arvin, didn't you say once that Murray on lost its powers? Yeah, I did. Now come to think of it. I think the Herba Mystica must give him back the ability to glide. So not only will the Herba Mysticas help the Mustaf get better, they also help Murray on gain its powers back. I think you're right, Tim. Two birds with one stone. Looks like we'll be helping Murray on and the Mustaf at the same time. Ah, uh, guess you're right, little buddy. Now then, let's chill for a bit and then hit the road again afterwards. No! This is impossible! How did they beat the Titan Iron Treads? Just who are these kids? How are they this strong? And that kid with a Rashiram is seriously getting on my nerves! Sigh. 
Guess I should keep my eye on them and find another way to stop them from getting more hurt on Mysticus and getting Muridon's powers back. In the meantime, I'm going to find out exactly who these kids are and how they are this powerful and know exactly what their deal is. I'll put my army project on all four of it and know about these kids. Once I do, I'll be waiting for them one day.